I got back from school, well, Centennial College, doing my truck and coach license. Uh, so I got home, and then uh, I realized that I do have a wheel lock, a wheel lock key in my Subaru, and let's try it. Maybe it'll fit, and it turns out it fits. So here we are. My wheels are all off. So as you can see, this car has uh, stainless steel braided brake lines going right there. So I'm going to be changing these STI Brembo's and I have a set of powder coated 2004 to 2007 Brembo's, the gold ones. So I am going to be selling these ones and putting in my other ones as like, you know, I might as well. It's already been uh, restored and this one I would have to do the same, but save the time, sell these ones, make my money back and slap on some new ones. So that's the project for the front and back there for brakes. Here is my rotors and everything, and then inside there is my calipers. So, we will be doing that today. Uh, probably do an oil change while I'm under it. Everything's all there. And then I'll probably do all my other fluids, hopefully, if I have time. Uh, just the basic maintenance, you know, just to get your car ready for, you know, basically you just got to prep it before you put it on roads. Uh, a lot of people do that, you know, they miss the maintenance. Most important thing about these cars is maintenance. So let's get right to it. I'm going to pull off these calipers and slap on the front Brembo's. Okay, so first step in removing these, I'm going to be removing the brake pads. Also, you can see the brake pads are done. There's like no meat on it. So I'm going to first take out these two R clips and then you will punch out the pins and this should just slide out this will, will come out with it and then we can slide out the pads once we get that out we will remove the i believe it's uh two bolts holding the bracket there and i'll show you from there and there is the brake line right there those are clips as you can see they go into those holes right there um yeah this is basically all my tools that i'm gonna be using for this whole job well not just this specifically but like for everything else i am in school right now so you know i got lots of free time after school just gonna work on the car my original plan was to put those gold brembos onto my wrx but you know plans change as always so looks like they're going on the sti and the wrx is going for sale very soon no well, Let's get to it. So basically what I use to remove these pins, uh, as you can see, you're always gonna miss some tools. So I found something laying around. I found a Robinson drill bit. Uh, you're just gonna put it into the tab right here and just tap it through. Once you tap the pin through, you'll have enough room there to just get like a pair of pliers or whatever and just, just pull it out. It shouldn't be that seized on or whatever, so shouldn't have any issues once you get that out you can take this guy out now you have access to your pads and we will pull those out now inside your rotor like so this way you can push on the rotor and it will push back the pistons and once you push back pistons it'll be much easier to pull out the brake pads so we'll just give it a nice pull and you can push the pistons back you can see it's now it's moving so it should be easier and you can just pull out the brake pads okay so after you pull out your brake pads you can see your pistons etc now we will take out the two 19 millimeter bracket bolts which is one here and one right at the bottom there so just crack those loose and your caliper will be free but before I do that, I'm just going to crack the brake line right here because I am replacing the caliper. So just crack it a little bit just so it's nice and loose and then we can go and remove the bracket. Everything is off now. As you can see, there is the caliper. So I cracked the line as you can see it's kind of dripping. So we're going to swap over the other line so that it doesn't drip fluid everywhere once I take it off. Um, the old rotor is there. This is a new rotor. It came with my Brembo package, so these will not work because that is 5x100. 
and the old ones are 5 by 114 so I am going to sell that with my uh, Brembo kit over here so it will work if anybody wants to swap it with their uh, 2008 up WRX so it's a full complete swap kit right there and that's basically it I'm gonna swap the new coppers in see how they look let's go so as you can see these are my new Brembo's now you can see why I want to put these ones instead of those you know nice and fresh everything's done seals everything all done by myself so swap them over okay so that's basically it right there everything's there just make sure you leave these lines cracked so that it can gravity bleed itself meaning the brake fluid can just run through the whole caliper and just come out slowly dripping once that happens you can close it off and from there you would basically put all your pads and everything together right now i don't have any of that so i'm just gonna leave it as like this for now and when i finish all that we will bleed the system so i'm gonna go ahead and do the other side and then move on to the rears all right, so the Brembo's are on the front, at least, as you can see. I think they look pretty good. Gold, and there's gonna be some gold rims. Here are the old ones. So if I were to use these, I would have to clean it all up, etc. But like. Mine are already mint, so I might as well use those and sell these ones instead of keep these ones and sell those ones. Know what I mean? Anyways, let's do the back. Okay guys, so for the rear of this vehicle, it is pretty similar. So you just have the little R-clip pins right behind here. Or sorry, it's right, right over here on the right side. As you can see so remove those two arc pins tap it on the uh, on the driver's side right here the little pins just push it through get your clamps wiggle it out and then for the pads you could just push it with your fingers for these because it's a single piston on each so they should move out pretty easy unless you have a C's caliper and then once you get that it is two 17 millimeter bolts in the back holding the caliper and the, the bleeder is a 14 millimeter I mean sorry the the brake line is a 15 14 millimeter uh, other than that I will show you once it is apart so here you can see I pulled out the R clips and now we're just going to wiggle comes out. It's kind of hard to do this with one hand. Yep, and then the spring's gonna pop out like that. And we'll do the bottom one. And the spring pop out. So this will be left with those and the little R clip right there. So like I said, for the, for the pads, you could just push them with your hands. So I'm just gonna put my camera down for a second, push it with two hands. Okay, so all I did was put my thumb here and my other hand, my thumb here, and I pushed that way. So then now the piston is loose. I mean, the piston is com compressed back and you can just wiggle the pads out like so. So do the same for this side. And there are your pads. So now we will remove the 17 millimeter bolts holding the bracket, as you can see. And then once that's out, we have the caliper out. And it could also crack your bleeder line if you are changing caliper like me. All right, now just remove the caliper bolts like so. Once again, it's a 17 mil. There's one at the top, one at the bottom. Once you do that, your caliper is off. Don't forget to crack your brake 
a fluid line, your brake um, brake line, and that should be it. Okay, so since my setup is different, I have an adapter going here. So this is a 08214 rear caliper adapter, just for the Brembo's from 02 to 07. I mean, um, 04 to 07, I believe, which is this. So this is much smaller from that one over there, as you can tell, but you know, it looks way nicer. So yeah, so we're gonna put this one on. Uh, to do this, you're gonna need to reuse your your 17 mil bolt just to attach that, and then you're gonna need a special bolt, which is uh same thread pitch everything. It's just a longer diameter, so you're just gonna need to order one of those or two of those for each side, and then you are set, and you can have your 2004 to 07 Brembos on your 08 to 14 WRX or STI. All that now keep in mind for the WRX's your um, rotor is gonna be different because it is a 5x100 bolt pattern so you're gonna need the ones that are cross drilled to fit this one because of the bigger brake shoe so yeah that's about it I'm gonna slap that on and we're gonna see how it looks all right guys so that is basically the install as you can see right there as of right now, I can't really bolt it up. I don't have the bolt yet, and I gotta get me some pads. So, that's basically it all around. It's coming along, you know? So hopefully you guys will see this car on roads. If I see you guys in Toronto, please say hi. Hey guys, so back at it again. I finally picked up my bolts. So for this bracket over here, the uh, adapter bracket, you will need, this is a M10 by 1.5 thread. It is 50 millimeters long. So it fits just enough, as you can see, right into the caliper. So we're gonna put a little bit of thread lock on there just so it doesn't come off and attach the brembles on then we will install the brake pads and then bleed the calipers okay guys so the rear is all bolted up these were 17 millimeter bolts they are in there nice and snug so next i'm gonna put some of some brake pads and begin so these are positive plus pads. Never used them. About to find out. Uh, nothing serious, you know. Just to get me from point A to B. Alright, so these are the pads. These are semi metallic. Got a little squealers right there. Alright, so really simple to install these. Get some uh, anti seize, put it around here for the piston and just on the sides here, or you can put it in there just so your your uh, calipers, your brake pad slides in and out easy. And then that's basically it. And then we just install the lockup tabs and we'll go from there. Shims that came with the brake pads, so I reused the old ones as it has more of a protection shield here and here. So that's basically it. And then you install your R clips. Make sure you lubricate your pins here. And just tap it all the way through till it bottoms out. That's basically it. So yeah, here is the old uh, backing piece, I guess. And yeah, it does not have the side pieces. So I figured I'd just use this one. It's much better. So that's what happens when you buy like, uh, I guess cheaper Brake pads, they don't come with like nice hardware, but it's okay. You can always uh, use it if you have no choice. Still works. So this side is complete. Let's move on to the next side. So I am going to be using SIM brakes. I don't know what this is. Semi-metallic integrally molded. So let's give these a try. The back I got a different set. 
So these are red in color. They look pretty nice, but who knows how they perform. Once again, semi-metallic. So to install these, very, very simple. Lubricate the top, lubricate the rear with uh, just some anti-seize or brake lube. What I am using is some Dow Corning compound, electrical insulating compound. So basically this is um, just uh, for wires and stuff, but really good quality brake lube if you want to use it for your pads. So just put a little bit here, rub it just so it's uh, the same shapes as your cylinders so that they don't uh, have friction against each other and start squealing. Once you do that, then you can move on to your pins, install your pins through there, and that's basically it. And then just bolt it all together. Well, snap it all together. There's no bolts in this, so here I'll walk you guys through it. All right, so this is kind of a bad angle, but it works. So get your brake lube. Once again, just gonna lubricate the top here, just so it slides. So just rub that there. Make sure you don't get any on the pad. So just rub it. And you do the bottom. And then make two for your pistons. Those two dabs there, and just rub it. I like to use this too because it doesn't really get so messy and it, it works pretty good. And I always service my brakes like, I don't know, like every two, two times a year. Like I just pull it out just to check it. So yeah, once you get that, make sure that the squealer pin is on the inside caliper. So you can put it through here. wiggle it through there you go so once again you are going to do the next side this one does not have a squealer pin because it is on the outside so just make sure that you always put those squealers on the inside okay so now that we finished that slider through easy like that so now you are going to get your pins uh sorry your your piece right here just a metal piece that holds your pin you're gonna get that so in this box it did not come with a backing piece so you will have to reuse your old ones which is this so i'm just gonna clean this up a little bit get a little wire wheel wire brush scrub it once you finish that lubricate the tabs that have contact with the pad, which is this, this, and these two top pieces. So lubricate those. Then you can place this on your caliper. Like so. Now you get your pins, clean them up, make sure you get all the old lubricants out because we're putting all new ones and just get some of your grease put it on there just lubricate it so starting with the first pin I like to do the bottom slide it through the back here like so you gotta pull out your cal your brake pad just back a little bit so it goes through the hole. So once you get that, slide it through the back. And you move on to the front side. Like so, easy. So all you want to do is just push the side in. Push this forward. And if your pad's in the way, go through the front like this. Through the front. 
push your cal uh, sorry brake pad back and just wiggle it through once she's in just tap it at the back with a hammer and you are good to go that's all guys just don't forget to put in your r springs like that now let's do the other side That is basically the install for the front. Check it out, that looks mint. Fucking mint. It's install, as you can see. We got the front on, and we got the rears. So all that's left now is just to bleed the brakes, and we can go on from there and work on the rest of the car. So next I'll probably be doing an oil change, uh, change some fluids all that so we'll go along the way with my videos but yeah these look pretty good once i put the wheels on they will look mint so thank you guys for watching this video see you guys in the next one peace